New controversy for the Church of Scientology. A longtime follower is coming forward now claiming the church tried to tear her family apart, forcing her to choose between her faith, her son, and her daughter. It posts something of a Sophie's Choice for Sarah Goldberg, and ABC's Dan Harris has her story. This is what remains of Sarah Goldberg's relationship with her daughter, Ashley. Photographs and memories. A sad situation this mother is blaming on the Church of Scientology. I want this horrible practice of disconnection to end. Goldberg says she spent 36 years in the church, reaching the top level of spiritual progression. But the problems began, she says, when her son, Nick, developed doubts about the church. I mean, there's things I didn't like, the way they recruited, the theories they told you about life and the universe. He started associating with vocal critics of the church, including Marty Rathman and Mike Rinder, former high-ranking officials who quit and are now condemned by the church as liars and apostates. As a result, Nick was labeled a suppressive person. His mother says church officials actively and repeatedly pressured her to, quote, disconnect from her son, to cut off ties completely. She feared that refusing meant she, too, would be labeled a suppressive person and would likely lose her relationship with her daughter, Ashley, still a devout Scientologist. No mother should ever have to make that choice. The church has long maintained that it doesn't force anybody into disconnecting. In a statement, the church says any accusations or inferences that the church interfered in the private affairs of this family are untrue. But Goldberg gave us this document, one she first shared with the Tampa Bay Times, which broke this story, in which a church official says he cannot approve of her continued relationship with her son, explicitly using the word disconnection. Ultimately, she says she and her husband chose to stand by Nick. The result, she says, they were both labeled suppressive, and then her daughter chose to cut ties. She says, well, until it changes, I have to disconnect from you. And we held each other, we cried. All of which, she says, leaves her with doubts about the church she once loved and despair about a family no longer united. I want, I want my family back. For Good Morning America, Dan Harris, ABC News, New York.